Hey guys, it's me Sam, and guess who's back again? I am very proud of myself for putting in the effort to do this. I'm just a weird person, and when you put a camera in front of me and I'm by myself, this is what happens. November of last year, I got a record player for an early Christmas present. The receiver doesn't work, but I had some records. I had some time to enjoy them for a little bit until it didn't work, but uh, now they're just sitting on the shelf, so I figured Let's take a look back at them and I'll show you guys my small little collection right now that I do have. And I'll make update videos along the way with more records that I get in the future. It'll be a while from now, but just just like a starting out kind of thing. Because I have them arranged in like alphabetical order by like artist and album. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to show the one seven inch I do have first. Because why not? First one I have... Um, is a seven inch, it's, it's a bare tooth one, you can, as you can probably guess, because you know I've got a band flag up there, but it's in, it's in like a paper, a little paper sleeve, and I'm so mad because my dog one day, I mean granted it was my fault for keep, keeping them on the floor, but normally I keep my door closed because she likes to come to my room and take my socks and shoes, so I usually keep it closed, but I guess the one day when I went into like the bathroom or like where I was just out in the living room for a second, she wasn't feeling good and she eats stuff to make her throw up to, I guess, try to make herself feel better. But she came in here and she kind of was biting on this and I was like, no, don't do that. I'm glad I took it from her before it got any worse. But this is one, the one side of it and this is the other side of it. And it's on, I don't want to say colored vinyl because it's not colored, it's like clear. It's very pretty. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so cool. But this side, it's the two acoustic songs that they released, which is Hated and, uh, let's flip this around real quick. And Sick of Me. These two songs acoustic, oh my lord. They are so good and they sound even better on vinyl. Oh lord. Oh, I can't wait to listen to this again. Oh my god, when I get my receiver fixed or I get a new one. So yeah, I'm I'm very happy with this. I got it when I pre-ordered like the Mega Bundle when re-release of like the deluxe edition of Aggressive. And you know, I got a sweatshirt, a t-shirt and stuff, but that sweatshirt, I need to make a story time video about that because I am still mad about that, okay? Okay. So yeah, I'm very happy with that 7 inch. It sounds amazing. Oh my god. Okay, now we're good. Back on to the, the full size all piece because, uh, yeah, okay. I really like this album. I think I like this one better than the second one that they, re that they released, but I like both of them. Um, before I show you, before I show you this, I just want to say that, um, I like collecting vinyl because I like having a physical copy. I mean, granted, CDs could do that too, but like with vinyl, it's the like the 12 inch, the, the full length LPs. It's the artwork is blown up. It's not just little on like a little phone screen. It's 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 really beautiful. You can even get color variants with uh, vinyl, obviously. It's been so long since I've sat down and actually looked back at my records. I'm just kind of like. It's so beautiful! Okay, well, actually, before I even take the record out, I should probably show you what it is. So, this is as it is. This is um, wow, I can't even remember what it's called. Never Happy Ever After? Yeah, Never Happy Ever After by As It Is. The artwork is just really pretty, and I like the, the back too. This is when they did the color pressings. I ordered. Yeah, I ordered. Um, I'll, I'll take it out and I'll show you. Because it's really pretty! It's really pretty! It's really pretty! And it really matches the album uh, art. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. It really matches the album art. You can see here it's this orange kind of splatter. Oh my god, it looks so pretty with the white on it. Oh, and you can see my window. Look at that nice view I've got. But like, this is just gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. Oh my god, I really want to play it right now, but I can't. If any of you have a specific way you put your records back in the sleeve, let me know. Because I have trouble with that. Because, like, I don't want to ruin the record or anything. And 
Oh, and it comes with a sheet of, this is all their thanks on the back. And this is a sheet of all the songs and the lyrics to them. The next record is also by As It Is. And this is not in all the way, but you know. It's their, uh, they only have two albums besides the EPs that they have, but this is their sophomore album, OK, which I did a review on, actually. If you want to check that out, you can. You don't have to. You really don't have to. Um, the artwork, I really like the theme that they chose for this. I don't know, I just, I just really like it. And then this is the back, it has the band. All of my records, besides the ones that I got at the flea market, are colored. Granted, I, I'm not collecting vinyl just for the aspect of that they're colored, because if there is an album that doesn't have a color variant, I will buy it. If there's an option, I'm gonna buy the colored one. <laughs> but I'll show you this one. It's pretty too, and it also matches the artwork very well. Look at this, the blue. It's very pretty. Actually, I don't think I've actually played this one. I think I've played all my other records but this one, and I think one other one I haven't played yet either, which is surprising, but... Oh, I should probably recommend songs off of each album. Songs I recommend off of Never Happy Ever After are probably Turn Back To Me, Can't Save Myself, and Cheap Shots and Setbacks. Okay. They're all really good, but, you know. Alright, and then songs I recommend off of OK are No Way Out. I know that one because I really like that song. Patchwork of Love. The Coast is Where Home Is. Those are the songs that I recommend off of this one. Those are just the two records I have by As It Is. They only have two full length albums at the moment anyway. Um, but yeah, on to, on to the, next, the next two albums. I only say that because they're, they're by my favorite band. And if you couldn't already tell, I think you know what's coming. So as you can tell, you probably already tell which, which is coming next. It's Aggressive by Beartooth. It's all black and you can see like the letters up here. And then on the back it's got the song titles and which side they're on on the record. I'm a little mad that it came a little bit damaged up here, but I still has the record. And there's a gatefold. Would you look at this? So these beautiful, beautiful portraits. Beautiful portraits. Do you see, do you see these beautiful portraits of this band? I could do that. I know how to take pictures like that. Can you hire me? I can take beautiful pictures of you. I mean, I don't have my own equipment because I've used the school, but uh. Oh, and it has a little definition of. Ooh, don't let the record fall out. Has a little definition of aggressive. These beautiful portraits. I could literally do that. I know how to do that. Oh my god. And for those of you who um, are also Beartooth fans, you will know that this record is also colored. Like I said, all my records are colored, except for the ones I got for the flea market. This one, this one's really cool. You ready? Look at that splatter. It's like a milky black and like, I don't know, it's just, oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Look at that. I cannot wait for their new music. Caleb, I am being very patient because I know you're putting a lot of hard work into it and I cannot wait to hear it. I'm probably gonna get a tattoo related to Beartooth one day. Just saying. Look at this. It's kind of like a poster, but on the back it has all the credits and the thanks and all the lyrics to the songs. But songs I recommend off of Aggressive. Burnout. Burnout, definitely burnout. Rock is dead. And however you want it said. I do like Hated, and I love the acoustic version of Hated, which is on that uh, seven inch that I showed earlier. Also, Bear Truth right now only has two albums out, so you can also take a guess, a guess at the next one that I have. Right, is this, is this predictable? Probably. See this beautiful album artwork on the front? See, 
I do have this on my phone, obviously. And this is so like a bigger version of the artwork, and I'm just like, it's like tangible, and I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. But I remember when they dropped the deluxe edition to disgusting. It was like over Easter. And I got some iTunes cards, and as soon as I, they dropped it, I bought it, and I was like, yeah. But this one's also a gatefold. Oh, you ready for magic? You ready for some magic? Ready? It's like 3D. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And it's got all the thank yous and the lyrics to the songs, and it's mentioned that. But it comes with stickers, so you can put them in the little gatefold. And uh, again, it's colored. I'm going to show you. You ready? You you ain't ready for this. You are not ready for this. You don't even think I've ever played this record. I don't know if you can see. What? It's white. It's beautiful. I'll put it closer so it's uh, it's not really detailed because it's white and all the lights reflecting off of it. But it's beautiful. I don't know what's going on with Red Bull Records. Like their customer service is great, but. I don't know what goes on. Cause I've had some problems in the past, but honestly, they're a great company. And yeah. Okay, songs I recommend off of Disgusting are Body Bag, Keep Your American Dream, and Relapsing probably. It's art, I love owning art. Earth without art is just eh. Okay, you can forget I said that, <laughs> but yeah. There are, it's very hard to pick favorites because they're not my favorite bands, but bands. This is my favorite band, but this is the next band. I only own one album by them. Honestly, don't hate me because it is like their newest release that they did. Don't hate me for it, please. It's their deluxe edition. I love the album art. Please don't hate me for it, but I mean, I don't care anyway. So it is Blink 182's California Deluxe Edition. I think the colors in the Deluxe Edition are, I don't know, I feel like I like them better. But when they released this, they did like a bunch of color variants of it and you know, they did the limited pressings and whatnot and I was a little late to the game. I was able to get the Deluxe Edition obviously, but I didn't get the color that I necessarily wanted. But I do like the color and I'll show you. It's two, it's two records. Um, cause it's a double LP, it's a, it's a deluxe edition, so I would assume there would be two. It's also a gatefold, and it also has some, some magic, it's a little pop-up. I know, you've probably already seen this already, cause it's been out a while, but that's the little pop-up thing, you know, with the road. I think that's really cool. And then you've got the two albums on the, on the, in the little things. I think this, I love the sleeves, lyrics and stuff, um. But the color that I got was yellow, the yellow variant that they have. I do like it, to be honest, like I do really like it. It's very pretty. It's like a gold. I don't know, it's, I probably would have picked the pink. I think they had a blue variant too, but honestly you really don't see yellow too much. I mean you do, but like not too much. So, I do like the yellow. I'm very happy with it. And of course the other record looks just like this, so I'm not going to take that one out. I can recommend songs, but like... To be honest, I really haven't listened to too much of it, but I do like Wildfire, I do like Born to Death, and I do like Last Train Home, and I do like the acoustic version of Born to Death. I'm going to listen to this when I'm in the car, because I have it on my phone too. I need to do that. I do, because I do like Blink-182. This is the only album I own on vinyl by them. I think the only album I own by them. Next album I have... I'm very mad. Probably never gonna order a record through Hot Topic again because the one time I did, the packaging, the like it's broken. Like the okay. First, let me show you the album. It's A Day to Remember. It's homesick, right? Very pretty album art, you know. I mean, I could have exchanged it for a new one, but I I just didn't get around to it. So now I'm kind of stuck. I mean, the record plays fine. Honestly, it's a little it's a little warped because I left it in my car when it was hot, but it still plays great. I've played it. Like it's just supposed to be sealed at the bottom, but like it's not. Like look, it's all it, it's broken. Like I'm very upset with that. And like it was all bent like when it came in the mail, and I'm like I'm probably not gonna order a record from Hot Topic unless I go to the store. So I, I'm very upset. The record itself is beautiful. Like look at that. 
Look at all the oh, this is probably the beautiful most beautiful looking record I own. I mean, I love the aggressive one, but this this one is just beautiful. You can probably notice it is a little actually it's not too bad. It still plays great. Like it, it plays perfectly fine. Um I love this album. But I I'm just very upset with the way it came in the mail. Like I was excited to get it and then I got so upset that the packaging was ripped and, and of course I can't order another one because the Hot Topic vinyls they have, they don't have them forever. Songs I recommend off of Homesick are Have Faith In Me, If I'm Made Of Wax Larry, What Are You Made Of, and honestly I do like The Downfall Of Us All, that's a good song, that's the first song off the record. And If It Means A Lot To You, those are, those are good songs off of this. Okay. So, the next three records I have, they're all black. I'm not, I probably, I'm, you know, I don't know what those look like, so I'm just not going to show you. Actually, it's four records. I got them from, from the flea market that we have here in this little town, and I've got Disney's It's a Small World. Um, I, I, I don't know why I picked this up, I just figured, you know, it'd be cool to have in my collection. And it has, like, all the different countries. And stuff on the back with all the little lyrics and stuff, and I think it's really cool. So I picked that up. It play it still plays good. Um, and then the next one I have. Um, I picked this up just because the album art looked kind of cool. I don't really remember what it sounds like, I and mean, the back is kind of. Don't remember what it sounds like because it's been so long. The record's a little dirty. You can hear it like crackling um, when the needle goes through it. I don't know. I just thought it looked cool, and, and then the next one from Flea Market is this one, Grace Slick, and it says, Welcome to the Wrecking Ball. It's actually pretty cool, she kind of sounds cool, it's kind of, you know, pretty Miley Cyrus, because you know, she's up there in Wrecking Ball, she's not naked, but you know, there's not, it's kind of like, it is rock music, and it's, it's pretty cool, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm excited about this, these records, but like, it's, they're not really ones that I listen to on a daily basis, unlike the other ones that I do have, so. Okay, and the next one I just picked up because I'm a New Yorker. I'm an Islanders fan. You can give me shit, I don't care. But this is just, this is a Christmas record. This is their Home for the Holidays uh, record. This is their little Home for the Holidays album, it's a Christmas. Christmas one it has all the names, I guess, of the team. Right over here, it has like Jingle Bell Rock, the Christmas song, Sleigh Ride, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, All I Want for Christmas, Then the Gloss is Coming to Town, Happy Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, White Christmas, Frosty the Snowman, and We Wish You a Merry Christmas. So just you know the classic Christmas songs. I think this is really cool, and I think it was a great find considering I found this the flea market in North Carolina. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really happy about this. And then the last record that I have, um, it's not from the flea market. I don't know. I, I, I just really love records and collecting them. And it's Papa Roach's Crooked Teeth. Ooh, right? That's the name of the album. But I really like the artwork. Like, I just love having big artwork. And uh, it has all the um, song names on the back. And I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, actually, this is my favorite sleeve. I like the Blink-182 sleeve I have, and then this is my favorite, the other favorite sleeve that I have. It's nice, high quality, it has all like the credits and stuff, and then it has all the lyrics and the song names, which I think they did this really cool. Like, I really like this. And then you can see like the middle part of the record, it's a little cockroach. And, whoa, it's sliding out, okay. And it's also white, like the Beartooth one I have. It's kind of, they're pretty much the same. This is the side A, and then the side B was like opposite. I think it's really cool. I really like this album. I listen to it a lot. New York Islanders, the Christmas record reminded me that's the last record I have. Now they're all back in the same order they were. So it's great. That's my little record collection for right now. I do intend on buying more records in the future. I have a whole wish list of records. Oh my god, it is long. It's not over like a hundred records just yet, but it will be soon because you know bands never stop releasing music. New music is always coming out. And I just, I just love music, you know? Who doesn't? I mean, everyone has different music tastes. Probably, some of you probably don't even know half of those bands that I just talked about, but it's all good. They all have good music. Oh, 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 oh. 
I forgot to recommend you songs off of this album. I recommend Born for Greatness is a very good song. American Dream and actually I do have this one doesn't have the other tracks on it, but Bleeding Through is on this album and it's really good. It's not on this record, on this like physical record, but it's on the record. And I do like None of the Above and Sunset Tra Sunrise Trailer Park. Sorry, Sunrise Trailer Park. It's it's a little different from the other albums. It's it's from the albums I have, but it's good. I really like it, so yeah. So you can go pick that up for your sale. So that's all the records I have, and that's that's pretty much all I have for you today. Like I said, I'm trying to upload at least once a week. So yeah. Oh. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you um, liked the video, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. If you have any recommendations of bands for me, you can leave them down below. I do listen to a lot more bands than just those, obviously, but those are just the records that I do have. Yeah, so I will hopefully see you guys next week. Okay, okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.